The city of Savannah is on the brink of removing a homeless camp on the city's south side. WTOC's Lindsay Stanger is following this developing story. And Lindsay, this was all put into motion last fall, right? Max, that's right. We remember that last October, the city went in and removed a homeless camp from under the Truman Bridge. Since then, smaller camps have been popping up, including this one. But soon that could change. A homeless encampment that has flown under the radar until recently. Well, we've had just a person or two staying back there with tents. It's not uncommon to see homeless folks anywhere in Savannah. But after authorities were notified of more foot traffic in the area, they began to take a look beyond the tree line. The HOAs and neighborhood associations called uh, myself along with city uh, law enforcement and said, hey, there seems to be a, a bigger camp set up back here. Uh, we were noticing a, a higher call volume for some drug activity and some other things going on. A homeless encampment on an undeveloped private property. It's not illegal to be homeless, but it is illegal to be dealing drugs, um, stealing stuff. So we're trying to we're trying to curtail some of that stuff. District 6 Alderman Curtis Petit has been working with the city and other organizations to not only remove this makeshift community, but to get those inside the help they need. Very complex answer to a very complex problem. Um, it's not like you flip a switch and it just goes away. It's not like you flip a switch and then boom, they're gone, they, they don't come back. They're going to move from point A to point B. And it's how do we get them the services they need before they get to point B um, so that we can lessen the impact when they do get to point B. Anna Savage is a resident who lives in the apartment complex across the street from the encampment and says although she has never had any encounters, she was told in an HOA meeting about the issues. I only heard about it like in a recent meeting that there's an encampment here. I didn't even notice it myself. Both Savage and Parti, although very different involvements, hope that those involved can get the help that they need. I have a lot of empathy for them. I look at them as human beings and a lot of folks don't, but I look at them as human beings and yes, uh, they're in a situation most people don't choose to be in a situation like that, um, but what happens is when they become in that situation, they have mental health issues, they turn to addiction, uh, it's just very unfortunate. Those living inside have been notified about the actions being taken to remove the camp, but officials are waiting for a time when they can get rid of the whole setup at once.